Hey, folks, what's going on? This is Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin. I want everybody, as you're listening to my voice, I want you to come at these words. I am winning. I want you to come in right now as you jump in here. I want you to come in. I am winning. Okay? I want you to come in. I am winning. Come in below right now. This is a millionaire talking to you, okay? The best way to be a millionaire is to model another one. Just say, I am winning. I want you to comment those words below, okay? No one's looking at you. You're maybe by yourself in your bed, maybe in your favorite chair, maybe in your car. I want you to comment, I am winning. Even if you feel like a loser right now, I don't care what's going on in your life. I don't care how much you're struggling. I want you to say, I am winning. I am am winning i am winning i am winning i want you to use that use that language let me tell you why that's important okay see it right there it's money coming into the bank here twenty three thousand dollars here one day nine thousand dollars here i am winning let me tell you why that's important you might say well what's why we keep repeating this i am winning I'm going to tell you why, because that's what I did when I had nothing, okay? This is before I had a YouTube channel. Listen to me, folks. This is before I had a YouTube channel. This is before I had a successful Instagram account here. I would tell myself every day, sometimes in tears, Wesley, you're winning, man. Even when the world told me, You're losing, Wesley Virgin. You don't have any followers. You're not making any money. You're losing money. You're making bad decisions. I said, I am winning. I kept telling myself this. And let me tell you why. Because I learned it from another guy that told me the same thing. He was rich. He said, Wesley, you got to keep telling yourself that you're winning. See, understand this, Wesley. He was talking to me. He said, most people see themselves as losers, right? A lot of people see themselves as losers in life, right? They think they lose at everything. They're losing at their job. They're losing in their relationships. They're losing with their bodies. They're losing with their children. They're losing even with their financial obligations. They're losing with their bills. They're losing with opportunities. But you have to see yourself as a winner. Regardless of what's happening in your external world. And I'm telling all of you here tonight, listen to me. Everybody that's listening to me, I know life is hard. Guess what? It is what it is. Everything is not working out in your favor. Hey, guess what? It is what it is. But you got to say I'm winning. Even though you're not making a thousand dollars per month right now, you got to say, you know what? I'm I'm making a thousand bucks per month. I mean, I'm making a thousand dollars a day. All praise to the Most High God is the greatest. I'm so grateful right now that things are working out in my favor. I'm so grateful right now that I'm winning. I'm so grateful right now that I am prosperous. I'm so grateful right now that I'm a successful young lady. I'm so grateful right now that I'm a successful young man. I'm so excited right now that I'm living my God-given dream. I'm so excited right now that tomorrow morning... It's going to be a brand new morning for me to start a brand new day. And some great things will because I claim those things and they're going to take place. I am winning. Let me share something with you. You are winning. You don't have to wait to win, folks. Listen to me here. I'm looking at you. I can see everybody that's in this crew right now. I love all of you. That's why I do this for you. I know how it feels not to be able to pay the bills. I know how it feels not to be able to put gas in the car. I know how it feels not to be, not to have enough money to fix the broken windshield. I know how it feels to have my rear view mirror hanging off the side of my car. I know how it feels to burn candles at night. I know how it feels to watch my parents work a job that's killing them. I know how it feels to have a scare because my mom was diagnosed with cancer. I know how it feels, you know, my dad, he has seizures. I understand pain. 
Don't let anything that you see on my Instagram account, on my YouTube account, or my Facebook account confuse you. Just because you see all this pleasure in my life, you see all this great things that I've been blessed with, that I've worked for, that I've acquired over the years. But don't think, I don't understand where you are right now. Okay? I know where you guys are. You know what? You know what's the, the most terrifying moment? It's like every day thinking like, man, what am I going to do? Some of you right now have an issue that you need to solve and you don't know how you're going to solve that issue. Right now, some of you have a financial obligation that you're not going to be able to take care of. And you don't know what's going to happen. You're praying to God, God help me. I don't know what I'm going to do to fix the situation. All right? Hit the like button if that's you. Right now, some of you are in situations with your school. You don't even want to be there. But you're there based off obligation and based off someone kind of conjole you into that school effort. Right now, some of you are in a relationship that's tearing you apart and you're afraid to tell that person, I got to go because I got to grow. But you're scared, though. Some of you have people that's in your life right now that you know you need to eliminate. That you know you need to cut off, but it's just some part of it that just you can't let it go. Some of you right now. You're looking at my Instagram right now, right? You're looking at all the great things that's taking place in Wesley. You're like, man, I want to have that, man. I wish, I wish I was like Wesley. I wish, I wish. Some of you keep using this word, I wish, one day. I wish, one day. And let me share something with you. Change the language. That one day is today. Stop wishing and start saying, I'm winning. Stop wishing you had a brand new car, wishing you could take vacations around the world, wishing you could be around beautiful women or beautiful men, wishing you could be around celebrities, wishing you had a better relationship with your children, wishing you had a better relationship with your spouse. Stop wishing, just start doing it. Stop wishing that you would go work out in the gym. Stop wishing that you wish you had a closer relationship with your parents. Just start doing it. Stop wishing you were a better manager of your money. Just start managing your money better. Start now. Okay? You know, I just felt the need to jump on here real quickly here because I'm always thinking about you. I'm always thinking about all of you. You know, I got 31 million people that's watching me right now, all praises to the most high, and I'm grateful that I get this opportunity. You know what? You know what I'm so grateful for? Not because... I'm a multimillionaire. I'm grateful that I figured out to become a multimillionaire so I can talk to you. I'm grateful that I can talk to you, that I can share my story to let you know it is nothing that has taken place in your life that I probably have not experienced. I'm not saying that my life is just like yours. I know some of you guys live in other countries. I know some of you guys live in places where I understand that it's tougher. The opportunities are not so available. But let me share something with you. Even you can make it. I got a guy right now. He, he's from Nigeria. When I met him, he didn't have a pot to piss in. And now he makes over $300,000 per month. You can't tell me just because you stay in a foreign country that you don't have the opportunity to create something that would change the fucking world. I know some of you guys don't have the support system that you need. I understand that you may don't have a daddy or a father figure or a man that was strong in your life. And I know you're a little bit timid. You're a little bit submissive. You're a little bit weak. I understand that. But guess what? It doesn't mean that you can't be fucking strong. It doesn't mean that you can't inherit some confidence. It doesn't mean that you can dig deep inside of you and be the lion that you're supposed to be on the planet. I love each and every one of you. <clears throat> if this resonates with you, go ahead and hit the like button. I'm so grateful for you. 
but I want to let you know that you are winning, okay? Listen to me, young lady. Young man, look at me. I know you can't see my eyes, but I'm here. Look at my hand. Listen to my voice. You are winning. Winning and success is a mindset. The world will constantly tell you that it's the cars that you drive. It's the women that you talk to, right? It's the maids that you hire, the, the homes and the traveling around the world. That is not success. That's a byproduct of your actions. Success is looking at your life as it is right now and saying, you know what? I'm winning. As a matter of fact, since I'm winning, I'm going to act like a winning person should act. I'm going to start behaving like a winner. I'm going to start sp- stop speaking loser type of words such as, man, when is it going to work out for me? Man, life sucks. Fuck my life. Screw my life. Things always get fucked up for me. Stop using this type of language. It has nothing to do with the opportunities that are not available. They are available. But you are not open up your eyes. You can't see them because of your poor language, your poor behavior. You know, I was looking. Listen to me here. I was looking on my Instagram. No. On my Facebook today. You know, I don't talk too much about race. I don't talk too much about black, white, and Mexicans and stuff like that. You know, I don't really get into that. But I was looking at one of the ads that I'm running right now, right? And I'm trying to help the world be rich, right? That's all I'm trying to do. I mean, I get joy and I get gratification with seeing another man or another woman win, okay? Because I know how that feels to win, right? And I'm looking at the comments. And guess what? You know what? You, You know what race or what group of people, what culture of people... Give me the most grief, the most criticism, my own people. My own people, black people, right? African Americans. I'm looking at the comments like, you know, it's a video that's been viewed about a million times. I'm looking at the comments, all the negativity. They're coming from the people that look like me. And I'm thinking to myself, wow. (laughs) Those people are ruining it from the actual man that actually is hungry for this information. I mean, I'm looking at the comments, right? And it's like, I mean, it's some, I'm laughing, right? It's just, it's a joke to me, but I'm looking, I mean, these people are trying to tear me down. My people, not Mexicans, not Hispanics, not white people, Koreans, Indians. No, my people, black people, tear me down, but yet, They won't look at a black man that came from probably where they came from who made it to a position in life where he can be a high influence and be an example for them so they can make it, but they'll rather tear me down. Wow. They'll rather cut me deep, right? They'll call me a scam. Those cars are rented. Don't believe this. He's not going to tell you the secret. It's fuck, fuck. This. I mean, I'm looking. I'm like, I'm laughing. And I'm shaking my head at the same time. You know. <laughs> I love everybody. You know, it doesn't matter the race. And I'm so excited. And I'm so happy. That I can ex- inspire or provoke action And certain people who knows that my intention is for you to win. Am I going to sell a product? Absolutely. I'm a business person. You're going to sell a product as well one day. Right? You're going to sell an offer one day as well. Right now, maybe you're buying products, but one day you're going to sell it. But I love people. I love people who are determined to win. And I love all of you. <laughs> I love all of you. I really do. But let me share something with you. You got to move. You, you don't have to have all the answers. Okay? Let me say it again. Like, you don't have to have all the answers, young lady. Young man. You don't have to have all the answers. 
But you got to move. You got to do something. Because time is winding up. Like I just did a video on Facebook. And I was just talking. Uh, you know about people. You know I was talking about how to create a company. With like with no money basically. And how to do it with, with nothing. Basically no website. No nothing. It's very simple to do it. I talked about it last night on my Instagram video. You can watch that video at WesleyVirgin.com. And. But I said, I can give you all the advice, right? I can tell you what you need to do, how you need to do it, when you need to do it. But until you do it, you know, it's one thing that Steve Harvey said that really affected my life years ago, maybe five, six years ago. He was on the Family Feud, right? The show that he hosts, and he said something that was impactful. He said, you know what the problem with most people? They just won't jump. It's like everybody, even you right now, you're standing on the edge and you're looking down and you're afraid, right? You're scared to jump off that cliff. You're scared to jump towards the dream, the ideal that you, that you know is burning inside of you. But you're, you're looking, right? And you're like, man, it's like millions of people. They're on the edge and they're afraid to jump. Now, two things are going to happen. You can jump. And you can fall and hit the ground. Or you can jump and you can fly and you can soar to the top. And what Steve Harvey said, man, you know what? It's no guarantee. This is the scary part. Like, it's no guarantee if you jump that you're going to be successful. Right? But he said, if you don't jump, you'll never soar. Ever. Like, it's almost a guarantee. Like, if you don't do it, it's a guarantee that you're always going to be the man and the woman that you are right now. I don't know why you're watching this video. I don't know what got you here. But let me share some with you. If you don't jump, you will always be the person that you are today. And if you're dissatisfied with any part of your life right now, it's because you haven't jumped. See, everybody doesn't have money problems. Some people have weight problems. They're overweight. Some people have health problems. Some people have relationship problems, right? Some people have all these problems, relationship, health, and money problems. Jesus. But what he said is, if you don't jump, you'll never soar to the top. See, all of you, you keep thinking about what's going to happen if the parachute doesn't open. Well, what's going to happen, Wesley, if it just doesn't work out on the way now? What if my parachute don't open? Guess what? Let me scare you a little bit more. See, when Steve Harvey said this, it blew my mind, right? And it put things in perspective. He says, when you jump, you got to jump without a parachute. I'm like, what? Right? You know, most people, they're already afraid to jump, right? Jump out of a plane, bungee jump. But say if you had to jump without a parachute and while you're jumping without the parachute, you had to make and create the parachute as you fall to the ground. And how quickly and what skill you use to make the parachute will be dependent upon if that parachute is going to open or not. Whew. That's scary, right? <clears throat> well, I'm telling you this, young people, all of you that's listening to this video right now, listen to my voice. I know many of you won't jump, and it's okay. But some of you will. And let me share something with you. The land of paradise is juicy. Oh, it's the best life ever. Getting up when you want to get up. Having people wait hand and foot on you. Driving the cars of your dreams. Being admired every single day because you are a pinnacle or you're a very imperative person on the planet. You know, traveling around the world, laughing, having experiences with some amazing people around the planet. If you jump, oh, it's some good things in store for you. I love you. I appreciate you guys. I'll leave a couple of links in the description below. If you're on YouTube or on Facebook, 
Um, I'm going to cut this video short here. But you can click the links below. You can look through my programs. I have the Wealth Visual Program, Overnight Millionaire Programs. And all these issues, all these programs, they just help you to be a better you, a more financially you. I just teach people how to use their mind effectively to manifest the things that they want on the planet. That's it. Because I've manifested the best life ever. And every day God has opened up new doors and new gifts for me to open. And I'm excited. But I want you to have those gifts. That's why I put the links below for you to indulge in, to click on, to discover which one is going to work for you. So I'll put those links below. You can go ahead and click them. You can decide to click them now. Or you can hear this last quote here. For things to change, you must change. If you want different things to take place in your life, young lady or young man, you got to make different choices. Nobody changes to stay the same. You can't be the person that you are right now. Even though maybe you're a great person, you're amazing, you're pretty, you're handsome, you're tall, you're short, you got a big booty, big breast, cute face, whatever. But if you want your results to change, you got to change your mindset. And you got to do it for a prolonged time. You got to do it for, for weeks, for, for months. You have to continue, you have to continuously assimilate and use the mindset of the winner that you're destined to become. <laughs> I love you folks. Much love. This is Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin. Thank you for the likes and shares. Go ahead and do that now. Like and share. Much love. Let's go.